Okay, so continuing the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and continue with the installation of DOS. Now I'm going to go ahead and try something new here. I attempted in my previous in my previous attempt, I've had to redo this video several times, I've attempted to use DOS um, 7 and try to install it and it actually went through pretty well. Now the only part I got stuck at unfortunately is loading the memory um, management software. So what I was doing was ever when I finished installation of the of the sound drivers and then I ran RAM boost in, in um, DOS 7. Now I think only advanced DOS users are going to understand what I'm talking about but whenever you run RAM boost it forces all of your applications that are run in autoexec.bat to to run with its software and so the sound drivers didn't like that and so what ended up happening was every time it got to the sound drivers it would freeze and and without sound the tutorial is pretty much useless so I've had to redo this several times now I know that the installation works in DOS 6.22 it also has a memory management program. It's called MemMaker, but it, you don't have to force all your applications to use it. And so I could just specify my sound drivers to say, don't use it, and then it would run just fine, and I'd have enough memory to run all my applications. But with DOS 7, I was unfortunate enough to have to start the whole tutorial over again. So I'm hoping that this installation works out for us. Again, I haven't done this before. I'm trying it out. I, um, this is my first time with DOS 7.10, so I hope the installation works out just fine. So I've gone ahead and put the CD in. It's booted up here. It automatically went to the setup. The I'm going to go ahead and select Next. Um, now, if you're using DOS 7 or earlier, it actually only supports FAT16 drives and below. As you can see in this message, it says it supports FAT32. However, I decided not to go with that option. Again, you, the user, can try it out if you'd like. Uh, now, I don't have enough that many DOS applications to use more than 2 gigabytes. So I, I just recommend sticking with the FAT16. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Don't install it if the primary. OK, it is not. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next. Now let's see. This is free software, and you should be able to download it off the internet. Uh, I should be able to provide a link to the download up in the video comments. So you can down the link, get the link from there and download it from there. So now it's going to go ahead and check the partitions on my hard drive. Now I already set it up, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can skip this step. We'll now check the partitions, help you to set up your hard drive and so forth automatically if not done properly yet. Thus it's strongly recommended not to skip. While it's checking your partitions, please skip, skip. I'll go ahead and say continue. So, oh, okay, so it's going to go ahead and check it and verify that there are no errors on my hard drives. Now these hard drives are more than 10 years old, so I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Now this may take a little bit of time, so if it ends up taking too long, I'll go ahead and cut it from the video. But uh, we'll see you ahead. Aha! Okay, so. Rewriting master boot record every hard drive will ensure that it is correct. However, if you've already installed a special bootloader, it will be overwritten. Now... I think with the partitioning software we used, it has modified the master boot record, so I think it's safe to overwrite it. Uh, I don't need it. Now what the master boot record is for, again, very important that it's at the beginning of your drive, but it's what your motherboard searches for when your computer boots up. So it will see that if it's, if it's at the beginning of your drive, it will see it, it will notice that I have DOS installed, and it will go ahead and boot to that drive so that it's definitely what we want. So we're going to go ahead and let it automatically 
overwrite the master boot record. Now it'll give you specify a path. Uh, the default should be fine. Now I'm kind of used to it being DOS. So I'm going to go ahead and modify from the default at DOS 7.1 to just say DOS. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Yes, please create it. Now I do not have the setup disks. I have a CD. I hope that I don't need to install anything else or download anything else. It should have been all on the CD. I'm going to go ahead with the full installation. Okay, you have chosen full installation. Some useful tools will be installed. As you can see, MemMaker. It did describe that on the site. It uses MemMaker 6 from DOS 6.22. I'm sure that's necessary because, as I described in the introduction to this video, I tried to get RAM Boost in DOS 7 to work, and I couldn't without it freezing my system. So we're going to go ahead and let it install that. Uh, access DOS as a DOS extension. Flexibility in the user interface for DOS, which will be useful to individuals both with and without disabilities. Have to install access. I'll go ahead and say install it since I have the hard disk space for it. And it looks like all my information is correct, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so again, I've never done this before, so it should just copy without a problem. Oh, okay. Welcome to MS DOS 7.10 Auto Add on Setup. With this feature, you can install add-ons easily. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. We'll install the following add-on. Add-on packs. Let's see, package is the source. Yes, please install the add-on. Now, I kind of wish that they didn't have so many prompts. In the previous DOS installation, I was able to say install now, and it didn't have to ask for queries for everything. Do you want to install drivers for your sound cards? I do, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. I have the drivers for that, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the drivers that came with my uh, came with my motherboard. Would you like the DOS startup logo? Yes. If could sometime, if trouble sent, could slow down. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Just didn't. Okay. So now it looks like it's going to go ahead and do the memory management for us in the installation, which is actually going to definitely help. So I'm going to go ahead and select Enable UMB Memory. Now it does say don't enable EMS memory unless it's required. So if you're a default user, I would just recommend using the UMB memory as it says. So let's see. Most people have at least one IDE CD-ROM cd ROM RW or DVD ROM RW drive on their systems. To access the CD DVD drive, the corresponding driver must be loaded. Now that's true, because when you start in DOS, now it's not like Windows, where it can tell you what, what hardware is in your system. DOS doesn't know anything. It doesn't know your sound, it doesn't know your video, doesn't know your mouse, it doesn't know your CD ROM drives. The only thing it does know is your keyboard. You have to have drivers for everything else, such as your mouse, sound card, video, and CD-ROM. So, it looks like it will go ahead and install it for us automatically. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to load. See, now, it is load both, because MSCDEX must be in autoexec.bat and the driver must be in config.sys. So yes, load both. Okay, and please check the programs you want to load when it starts. Um, long file name support. Mouse, we have a mouse, yes. Disk cache to speed the drives up. I'll go ahead and enable that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Well, from my, from my experience with DOS 7, this, this application definitely has a lot more prompts. This, this installation is definitely not as straightforward. 
So even so, this is also making my head spin a little bit, but just stick with the default options and you should be good to go. Congratulations, you have completed the installation. Yes. Okay. To use it, you must restart your system. Please re remove the disk in the drive before reboot. We have completed the installation. So, in my next video, I'm going to... We're going to go through the first boot and installation of Windows 3.1. So, I'm Zorcher from Doom Connector, a CompuWiz on YouTube, and I'll see you on the next video. Please leave me your comments.